I got a new camera, but this one's a little different than my others. It doesn't actually take real photos, and it came in like a million pieces in the mail, which makes this the first camera I've ever had to build myself. And that's because this is a Polaroid One Step SX70, but made of Lego bricks. Simplest camera in the world, try it, just press the button. Hey gang! That's Polaroid's in film, it develops twice as fast now, in just a few minutes. I love it. Look at all those smiling spaces. <laughs> the world's simplest camera, Polaroid's one step. This camera became iconic in the 70s after being one of the most widely loved consumer cameras on the market due to its ease of use. There are no bells or whistles. There's literally only one button. So it's no wonder why this camera became such a beloved option back in the day and also why it makes for a great Lego brick camera as well. Speaking of the design, this particular idea was actually submitted to the LEGO Ideas platform by somebody who was just a massive instant film and LEGO set fanatic. And now, thanks to him, all of us photographers can have this beautiful and completely non-functioning camera in our collections now. But don't get non-functioning twisted here. This camera actually does have a working shutter button, and you can eject these little Lego Polaroid photos, but we're not quite there yet. We have a lot more building to do. As someone who doesn't build Lego sets often, this building process started out really daunting, but then turned into a very pleasant and soothing experience. I get the hype. I totally feel like an engineer at this point, as things are starting to click pun intended, and I can really start to see a camera take shape. And then just like that, we have a Lego Polaroid camera. Look at this thing. I can't believe I made this with all those little pieces. I'm so happy to be adding this to my Polaroid camera collection, and honestly, I'm really excited to take it out in the world, even though I'll never get one real photo from it. I love how realistic this camera feels. First of all, the viewfinder is a long tunnel with a clear end cap, so you can actually see through it, which is so fun and really adds to the realism. Both loading in the photo and ejecting it have really great feedback and you can feel the tension within the camera. And the shutter button even makes a nice sound. Along with the camera, the set also includes this adorable film pack, as well as these fake Polaroid photos you can insert and eject. And if you're anything like me, you will get fixated on this mechanism and you'll do it over and over and over and over and over again. Watching it work from the inside makes this whole thing all the more impressive. And whoever said that Lego sets are to just sit on your shelves at home, they are wrong. Especially camera Lego sets. Even if they don't take real photos, they shouldn't be discriminated against. They should be able to thrive in the world just like all the other Polaroid cameras do. So this Lego Polaroid camera is hitting the town. Typically, anything I make from scratch holds a very special little place in my heart. And because of that, I think I'm growing attached to my non-functioning camera, which I never thought I would say before. But here we are. There's a first time for everything, right? I love how classic and iconic the design of this camera is. That big centered lens, the red shutter button, and that unmistakable rainbow stripe. It's amazing just how close they got this brick version to the real thing, besides the part of being able to take actual photos, of course. But who cares if the photos aren't real, if the features of the camera are, and if my love for it is? Anyway, I gotta go not take photos on my new camera. Bye.